friends, it's Alexa, and today I am doing the My Book Adaptation Wishlist Tag. This tag was originally created by Monica over at She Might Be Monica, and I was tagged by Kristen over at Super Space Chick, and I will link both those videos down below. It's a really simple tag. We have different categories, and then I have to share what books I think would be be interesting to adapt into those different mediums. First, we have movie. And for this, I actually can think of quite a few books that I would like to see as films. But I think personally, The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson would be such a great movie. I think the element of mystery, um, mysterious identity, and this whole runaway princess thing would be great for a film. I think it would be just the right amount, right, like it would have really great pacing for that. And I just think it would translate so beautifully as a movie, especially because Mary E. Pearson does such a great um, job giving detail to the world and these characters, and I think it would be so interesting to see that translated on screen. Anyway, if you haven't heard of The Kiss of Deception, this is the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. It's about a princess named Leah who runs away on the day that she was supposed to get married, and she escapes to this fishing village with her best friend, and it seems like all is well. But what she doesn't know is that two people have followed her there. The prince who she was supposed to marry, who is very curious about this girl who backed out of the marriage last minute, and an assassin who is meant to kill her to basically prevent any sort of union from happening. And it's just such a good book, you guys. I was so impressed by this one. I love the sequel even more, and I'm looking forward to reading the last one. Next is TV show, and for this one, I actually have a an author's world that I would like to see. It would be the world of Tordal, which is a world created by Tamara Pierce, and I'm gonna show you guys Lioness Rampant, but I really think that the Song of the Lioness Quartet, the Immortals Quartet, the Protector of the Small Quartet, and the Trickster's Choice duology, the Trickster duology, um, they could all be different seasons with different lead characters, and I think that would be so great. Tamara Pierce has created such a rich world with her various series set in Tordal, and I think it would be so fun to explore that and to have that done on television. It would be just the right amount, like the right length to give enough detail to this world and to make you fall in love with these characters and get invested in their story. Anyway, this particular book I'm holding up is Linus Rampant, and it is from the Song of the Linus Quartet, which is the first one, I think. It's about a girl named Alana who she doesn't want to become a mage, I, if I remember correctly. So she and her twin brother switch places. She masquerades as Alan of Trabon and uh, studies to be a warrior, a knight. And it just chronicles her adventures and who she befriends and all of the things she gets up to. And it's just an incredible series. And I think you guys should check it out. So yeah, it would definitely make for a fun TV show. Next is cartoon. And I'm gonna go with a book that I read fairly recently. Furthermore by Tahara Muffy. And I think it would be such a fun cartoon. Mostly because I would like to see all the incredible, insane, imaginative things that Tahara Muffy described brought to life in a cartoon. I think that could be so fun. And these characters would totally pop off the page as cartoon characters and plus like if they looked anything like the characters on this cover I think it would be so fun to watch so I would definitely say furthermore anyway if you didn't know what furthermore is about it is about a girl named Alice who is a bit of an outcast in her own village because she's kind of got barely any color and color is supposed to be a sign of magic so she teams up with this boy named Oliver and they go into furthermore to rescue her, her father who has been missing for three years. And it, has, it is just the most fun middle grade adventure. And it is very weird, but in a way that I particularly enjoy. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Next we have graphic novel or comic. And for this one, I decided to go with A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. I think it would be such a fun thing to see this book translated in graphic novel form. If the illustrations were done just right, we would get to see such a great view of the world that Sarah J Mass has created with Prithian, and it would be so fun to see all the different people and how they were portrayed in that graphic novel. Plus, there are some pretty incredible and visual scenes in this novel that I think would be interesting to translate on the page. Of course, it would probably be an adult graphic novel considering the content in this book, but Anyway, I think it would be so fun to see it as a graphic novel. I would love that. Anyway, A Court of Mist and Fury is the second book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. This book is basically what happens after the events in the first book, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. I will say it's incredible. Next, we have Play, and this one actually stumped me a little because 
It's really hard to think of a book that I think would translate well as a play. But then I realized The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You by Lily Anderson would be such a fun play. Just because there's such a big cast of characters and they all have such great personalities and strong personalities, there would be a lot of great snappy dialogue, especially if we quoted some of the parts in this book and I think it would just be very fun. The Only Thing Worse Than Me Is You is a YA retelling of Much Ado About Nothing and it's just, oh my god, it's incredible you guys. I thought it was so funny, it was so nerdy, it was so geeky. And it's about a girl named Trixie and she has two goals for senior year. She wants to buy a set of Doctor Who figurines that she's been saving up for forever and she also wants to beat Ben West, knock him off the um, academic list to number four which is a spot below her. But when two of their friends get together, these two are forced to spend more time together and they slowly but surely realize that they may have had the wrong impression about each other all along and it's just so adorable and wonderful and I think it would make such a great play, especially if they got the right cast to do it. And the last category is musical and I actually have a really good answer for this one because I was talking about it with my friend Jillian of Brighter of Wrongs and I told her that I think it would be so incredible to see Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After all woven together into one musical. I think that could be so incredible. The different settings would make for such great backdrops. The different characters would make such a great cast. There would be so much fun, there would be a lot of spoons, there would be... Just, I, I can just imagine the different sorts of songs that they would come up with and I think it would be so adorable. I think like I would really... It would be like a romantic comedy type musical and I think that I would really enjoy that. And, yeah, I just, I really want someone to do this. I would happily fund it. Honestly, it would be the most amazing thing ever to see it come to life on stage and with songs. I think that would be so, so, so much fun. There you have it, guys. Those are all my answers for the m My Book Adaptation Wishlist tag. And I'm not sure who hasn't been tagged in this, but I am going to tag Tiffany from About to Read. I'm gonna tag Afa from Fred Weasley Died Laughing and... Jade from Bedtime Bookworm. Those are the people I feel like tagging in this video. All right, I will see you guys for another video soon. And if you want to catch me in the meantime, check out all my social media links down below.